GPS as you were cruising. But nevertheless, um, lead us through that lap. How did it feel? Did everything go right? Um, or did you feel you still left a few uh, seconds? Well, not, probably not seconds, but <laughs> uh, hundreds of a second uh, somewhere on the lap. Yeah, qualifying all in all, it went great. Uh, just progressing, getting quicker and quicker all the time. And, and then uh, when it counted, uh, I managed to put a good good lap in. And of course, it's never perfect. On a track like Montreal, it's so difficult to get the perfect lap with all these curves that you have to hit. And if you just hit them five centimeters in the wrong place, you bounce in a different way and you just can't stay online. And it's really, really a, a challenging track. And that's why I really like the track. It's, uh, it's definitely one of my favorites also. Really, uh, really great. And and um, yeah, but it all worked out, so I'm very, very happy and, and for sure it's very, very important to start first tomorrow because probably I'll just be racing my teammate and, um, and with the, having, the same, having the same car, it will be very difficult for the guy who's behind to, to get past because there's not much you can do with strategy, so it's important to be in front. Now, one, one of the questions that, that I got, Nico, as we were preparing for this, uh, concerns uh, weight management. Uh, no, not for you that question, Toto, for him. Because we're not talking about car's weight management, we're talking about your weight management. I don't know if it was a lady that passed along this question or not, but uh, you guys are amazing. I, you hold your weight down to the gram almost, the, the seat is designed individually for you. Um, can you even eat pasta? Is that okay? Uh... My, my friend has a gluten-free pasta packet for me in his pocket. So when we go to Italian, uh, I'm going to give them the, give them that to cook that because I have a super special diet. So I have to watch everything and no sugar, no nothing. And it's really extreme and it's not nice, but that's the way it is. And some other drivers are suffering even more because our car actually we we get uh, you know we're not too much overweight, but other people have a lot of overweight with the cars, and so they have to go even lighter. The drivers. And it's really, uh, it's unnecessary, so, uh, but they're looking into that for next year, but it's a co constant diet, yes. But with the, with the aim I have and the, what is it, the, the, well, the, the possibility of winning the championship, it all makes it very, very easy, I must say. <laughs> now, to Toto, with, with the advantage we have in our cars, come on, let the, let the guys eat some steak. <laughs> You know, when we, when we sat down last year and we figured out the regulations, we thought, you know, they are good looking young guys racing in Formula One, earning, earning lots of money. We need to come up with something which is really a comic them. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, we thought, they should go on a diet. Okay, okay, okay. Now, uh, we want to obviously, all, all racing fans here want to compliment you, Toto and the team, for letting these guys race. Um, which, yeah, there's something to be said for that. We're letting our guys race. Uh, I did get, however, a proposal that I would like to post to you for maybe you know getting the guys to uh, get it out of their system, if you will. I don't know if you remember the movie uh, Days of Thunder with Tom Cruise, where there's a rivalry between two drivers, and then they take two rental cars, and then they go out and basically go at it. The cars are trashed at the end, but uh, they get along uh, a lot better after that. So I don't know whether that suggestion could work uh, in this situation for you. I think, you know, once the race is finished tomorrow, if you know somebody who would give us two Mercedeses... <laughs> oh, hey, hey, I'm pretty sure we'll find somebody tonight that's willing to do that, as long as they can film it. <laughs> <laughs> and insurance. Anyway, um, I want to thank you guys for uh, coming and sharing those thoughts with us. But before we go, um, Nico, I know you pe speak uh, perfect French, well, obviously you do anyway. I got a question at the end for you, Francois, though. So, and uh, also Toto, maybe a few words and also.